Hey there, this is Amy Eisenstein, and as you can see, I've decided to do a slightly different type of blog post today because once again, I was recently asked the question, um, what do I do if I'm afraid of asking for money? And you would think that as a fundraising professional that people would have overcome this fear or not be afraid of asking for money, but it simply isn't true. I hear again and again in the field that people whose jobs it is to ask for money are really terrified of asking for money. So we need to tackle this issue head on. And I have to say it came up recently for me because I am gearing up for speaking season. Springtime is big conference season in our field and I am getting ready to hit the road. I hope you'll see me uh, or I'll get to meet you if I'm in an area where you are. I'm coming up, I'm gonna be in New Orleans, I'm gonna be in Oregon, I'm gonna be in Philadelphia, I'm going to be in Maryland, I'm going to be in Ohio, and the list goes on and on. So I hope that if I'm coming to a city near you, you'll stop in and say hello or get in touch so we can meet. Um, but anyways, before some of my sessions, and in order to update some of my information, I occasionally send out a pre-conference survey, and I often ask the question, what do you wish you knew about fundraising but are embarrassed to ask? And so, oops, I do have that on a slide here. If I wanna change the slide, I was so excited. So I send out this survey sometimes to conference attendees or to board retreat participants before I come and present so that I, I can answer their questions, but so I ask, what do you wish you knew about raising major gifts but are embarrassed to ask? And I get lots of great answers, but the one that I want to tackle today is how can I overcome my fear of asking? Because I hear this, as I mentioned, again and again and again. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. How can I overcome my fear of asking? And so, first of all, I want you to admit that you're afraid. There's no harm in that. There's no shame in it. Um, it happens all the time. You're not alone. And so I think once you say, okay, this is what's stopping me from raising major gifts, this is what's blocking me from success, that I'm afraid to ask, then you can do something about it. So the first thing is admit that you're afraid. Then you can go ahead and go get yourself some mentoring, some coaching, take some classes, um, read some books, and learn more about major gift fundraising so that, you know, knowledge always lessens fear. Uh, decreases fears to some degree. But just by admitting it that that's part of the issue that's blocking you from success, I think is a real step in the right direction. Um, lots of people are afraid. And one of the things you may have heard me say this before, but um, I think this works really well, is to admit you're afraid to donors. I don't think there's any problem with that, with sitting down with one of your donors and say, hey, listen, um, this is really outside my comfort zone. I am not thrilled with the idea of asking you for money, but the mission is too important for me not to. And so I'm here today admitting to you that I am completely outside my comfort zone. And so this conversation might be a little choppy, might be a little awkward, and I hope you can stick with me. Um, but the mission, the kids, the disease, the arts, the education, whatever it is, is too important for me to, to let my fear hold me back. And so, and then you can have an open, honest conversation with your donors. So that's number one. Number two is practice, practice, practice. It always surprises me when I meet development directors who think that they can wing it, wing and ask. And this is probably one of the most important business meetings that you'll have throughout the year when you're sitting in front of a donor and asking for a major gift. So there's no winging it aloud. Um, you want to practice with colleagues, with board members, with your executive director, sitting in front of the mirror, practice, know what you're gonna say, um, have 
listen, you don't want to sound like a robot. I was about to say have a script prepared. More like bullet points, topics that you want to cover. So know what order you're going to go in. Know the three points that you want to make or the three most important questions you want to ask. And practice saying them, especially practice the ask. If you're asking for money, you want to know what specific amount you're asking for and what type of program or service you're asking for and how you're going to say those words because sometimes it is hard to get out of your mouth. So you want to practice looking in the mirror and with colleagues, with friends, with family members saying, listen, I'm here to ask you to consider a gift in the range of $10,000 to support our after school program and say it again and again until you feel comfortable. And number three is, how can I overcome my fear of asking? Listen, you've got to ask anyway. This is your job, your clients, your mission, your organization depends on it. So even if you're afraid, you need to go out and ask anyways. And what I would like to remind you is that this ask is not for you personally. You're not going to personally benefit from the result of this money. And so... I would say try not to take it personally. Now, of course, I know the mission is personal to you, and it's hard to take, not take things personally. But if you can sort of remove yourself somehow um, from that a little bit and just say, listen, this isn't about me. This is about what the donor is passionate about. And my job is really, as a fundraiser, to connect important causes, my important cause, with donors that care about it. And so I need to get out there and ask as many people as I can until I find the ones that are connected with my mission and want to give to my organization. So get out there and ask, 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 even if you're afraid. So listen, I hope that this format of of blog posts worked for you. I'm experimenting. Let me know if you liked it or didn't like it. Um, but more importantly, I want you to share in the comments. So number one, what do you do to conquer your fear of asking? So if you have any other suggestions or like what I've said or didn't like what I've said, add to the conversation. What do you do to overcome your fear? And two, what do you wish you knew but are embarrassed to ask? So the same questions that I send out to uh, the people who are going to be in my audiences, whether it's for a board retreat or a training session or at a conference, I ask the question, what do you wish you knew but are embarrassed to ask? And if you let me know that in the, com um, in the comments section, I can do a future post on it and answer your question. So thanks so much for joining me. Bye.